The South African government has spent millions of rands in various parts of the country to support land reform. While there are pockets of success, some experiences on the ground are not cause for celebration. Communities denied of their livelihood, and some emerging farmers allege they find themselves between a rock and a hard place. We have been asked by the current manager now, Mr. Kelly, that okay, we have to vacate the farm. Two weeks ago, we brought you the story of Blessing Bukosini, an aspirant farmer who alleges that five years after being allocated a state-owned farm, he's being kicked out. process. <laughs> I interview, ngayenza, ngayipasa, guna mamini iti na guifaili, esho yuguti, ngapasa, ga allocate a plazin. So yini ge mine ngyenze rong, na manje ngisakbuza yukona, yini le ngyenze rong. He says five years after being told he could occupy the sweet home farm in the Blood River area of Zululand, he's now told to vacate it. The once productive farm is a shadow of its former self. Vandalism, disconnected water and electricity services and unused land are a sore sight. Controversially, one of the co-owners who deny his legitimacy on the farm works for an agency of the state. And another public servant continues to rent the land for his family's cattle. The state land lease and disposal policy forbids public servants and their spouses from benefiting from the program. Mayan Tutuko Matlaba, also a medical doctor, was recently arrested and is currently on bail. He's charged for the 2016 murder of a former ANC Youth League leader, Wandilen Gubeni. Mayan Matlaba is also accused of assaulting his previous shepherd. Now, Tolile Majola says he has lost the use of his hand and his knees are damaged. <laughs> Mayor Matlaba's office denies the assault allegations and says the cattle had been on the land before the state bought it and prior to his appointment as mayor. Bukusini says he was nearly killed while driving this truck one evening. He believes that he is being victimized for speaking out. Long <laughs> 
hey, hii nita hafu peli ntululua nisa kweli ntu utelo li nisi adinya tuchu ulua la nge nita hafu nkulu nkule mkulu nhamba na basa bezi mama babi la gilimalangu shoye yetu while well, in the area, special assignment spotted this car, apparently linked to Mayor Matlaba, arriving on the farm with livestock. Soon afterwards, we received a call from a person identifying himself as Jomo, demanding to know why we are asking questions. We wanted to understand the guy who begins to come to the house. That's why the company for no one information specifically in coming to the way not that day because there was a couple of us land way in a way as a system corner to deliver them in a farm. But it's fine, we'll communicate, we'll give you everything. Yeah. But I'm going to call you before the end of the day. He never called back and later refused to clarify his connections with the farm. The SABC News mobile app is your one-stop digital portal to all the news you need. Stay connected with the latest in breaking news. Watch the SABC News channel along with clips and live streams of all the big news events. And listen to all the SABC News radio stations live, including podcasts and much more. Simply download the SABC News app to your Android or iOS device from either the Play Store or the App Store. SABC News. Independent. Impartial. What are you predicting with the sixth parliament? They've got to up their game. Why is it so important for you to create platforms where people can share and grow? I think there's something special about conversation and sharing of experiences. Mkwebane investigated the role of senior ANC leaders in the Free State, including then Premier. Advocate Mkwebane has never explained why she altered the provisional report in material ways. The provisional report, there's no way where it's mentioning that the Premier is implicated. This is such a, a massive festival and what does it mean to you as an artist? It's more than humbling for me to actually be showcasing everything about my music. So it's a celebrating Africa. The National Department of Rural Development and Land Reform says Zululand is one of the areas with the highest success rates in land reform. We had a lot of um, uh, labor tenant claims in that particular district. We also had a lot of uh, restitution claims and uh, we have managed to settle most of the, in, in fact the district had the highest number of labor tenant claims in the, in the whole province of KwaZulu Natal. But what is the substance of this success? Is it in line with the experiences of people on the ground? I applied for the farm from the department to the Department of uh, uh, Rural Development and Land Reform in Friday in 2013, early 2013. And late in the year, I was called for interview. There were three shortlisted, two other uh, uh, shortlisted uh, applicants, and then there was an interview, and then of which uh, later on I was told that uh, by letter that okay, I, uh, I was the one who has been uh, chosen. Ntlantla Nene says his Uluntu Agricultural Cooperative was chosen to lease this state owned farm called Falkop, which is a piggery. What went wrong was uh, Initially, when uh, the office of the Department of Rural Development, uh, Mr. Gomez will say, okay, we have to take I mean, uh, the services of the outgoing farmer, Propic, represented by uh, Mr. Williams. But then at the same time, we were not comfortable with that because uh, we thought we would be involved in, uh, in commenting and selecting uh, the the person who would like to partner with us or who would like to mentor us. 
more so because we thought that uh, the sum of 30,000 rand, uh, which we were told that he was going to get a month, was far more than we thought it would be. Uh, because we said we would know what uh, we would need. No, the first time I've ever heard about it is when you mention it now. I, I, no, I've never, never even heard that arrangement. I'm not sure who made, who, who, who even suggested that arrangement because I've never heard about it before. And I certainly didn't receive any money. We paid in. We, did, we certainly didn't receive it. And I wouldn't have re accepted it anyway because we were willing to work for nothing. Nene says another challenge was that feed companies were unwilling to open accounts with them because they were considered risky. We were advised that, okay, we have to continue with a, a, a propic uh, to our market has to, had to go through propic, but then all the revenues, I mean, from the abattoir would go into the account of propic, and then at the same time propic would buy uh, feed and all, I mean, the equipment on our behalf, and at the same time we were sort of excluded. We didn't know, I mean, uh, how much are we getting, and, and then at the same time how much, I mean, we are, we are spending. Any business, I think, you need funds, and they had literally had no funds at all, so I'm not sure how they were supposed to operate with no funds and no access to funds. We let them piggyback on our supply contract, but also, we made an arrangement on day one, and we had to make this arrangement in a hurry because it was the 19th of December, that we would purchase feed and other input costs, whatever it might be, and be refunded as pigs were sold. Because although we're talking about feed specifically, 40,000 rand per day, every day, seven days a week, w the first pigs that they sold would only be paid for three weeks later. So we're looking at close to a million rand just for feed, feed alone. He had access to all of those figures. They were all available, but he's right that the money was paid directly to Propig as a, as a refund. And this was an arrangement set up by agreement with the department and with Mr. Nenny. So he was well aware of it. The cooperative was liquidated and couldn't continue operating. Despite attempts to recover the business, they still couldn't service their debt. We were told that they were going to be funded, and that was what we were assured through this whole process, but it just didn't materialise. So that's why I say set up to fail. I'm not saying somebody purposely set up to, to help to make them fail. I'm saying the system was just not good. In addition, Ubuntu says it had bought its own cattle with the intention to diversify its business. But some of their cattle were stolen and found killed. The theft of livestock in this area is commonplace. But he believes it was part of the campaign to remove him from the farm. But others insist that Nene's business failed because he's a politician who was not hands-on and question how he got the farm while heading the state's land allocation committee. He says he continues to challenge the liquidation, but now it seems his dreams may be fading away. We have been asked by the current manager now, Mr. Kelly, that okay, we have to vacate the farm. But then, uh, oh, we will vacate and then at the same time we have to reapply. But I contacted him back on behalf of the of the co-op and said, okay, uh, why? Because uh, we were interviewed and then we passed the interview and then there was a handover. And, and he said, there's no record on my file, on, on the farm file in the other office that we been hand, uh, were handed over. And I gave, fortunately, we file everything. I mean, so then I, 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 I asked for a meeting with him and then uh, that's when I produced some of the documents I was having. Nene says his arrival at the farm improved the livelihood of farm dwellers, including sourcing funding for young people to study pig farming overseas. But the community is divided on his role, and some allege he divided the community and caused unemployment after his liquidation. They formed a cooperative to salvage the business and create jobs. 
Uba mtalitane na iki rola izadi legiti na njomu mparati. Uba analaba aba ya peshe kwa usu wa vele e meneje nzakele zaiga tesige na zovele. Oche ingisuti. Aba ndabala uba rate bafi ya besebenz. Aba ilu utu. Fanele bona befane ni mshanye eluti. Balungi seba shanele ba shanele makete ba bewe mfa wezva. Bese unge nage iva kashe zinki. Ziti mase ingoli sile kwinde tuwa tatu mshanye elu sebenz. Uba ndabala aba sebenz ala. Aba ndaba suwa ngale makai. Agar kau kau mengapa? Tuh alon naik. Asmas, lono ngasin dah nanti lagu tu zat sebenarnya. Kau dah sepanu buat sesuatu yang sulit. Lagu zat. Kau berasa apa ambil? Kau berasa orang naik. 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 Kau Ngoba gua itu, gua itu susu perubahan yang kini guti mangga besar kamu kulmen, epergelela abantu, abat kamu anga panle. Futi abat velbe nombor atau velbe nortel enje. Usi zomundo velo nortel. Kantu mnyang uti nasa zomundo mnyang loa oga kulmen. Oksi zati nak tutu zati nasi ma plazi. Es velesi susu pergel. Hai si tati gua oga bandar susu pergile. We do not just speak. We let every voice in our nation find full expression in language and in culture. We do not just teach. We empower all people with education. We do not just bring you the news. We place you where the news is happening. We do not just entertain. We take you on journeys. We do not just broadcast sport. We create an arena for sporting heroes to inspire you. Ours is not just a job, it's a calling to ensure that everyone in our nation is informed, educated and entertained. We are able to do this because you do your part. SABC TV licenses, it's all made possible by you. Hello, I'm Nana, and I want to tell you a bit about Economics Unbound. It is a live studio current affairs program that brings an understanding of the economy, how it operates, and how it is managed. The show seeks to include ordinary South Africans in purposeful and well-informed discussions about the economy. For you to be in business, you need to work with other businesses. While providing them with enough information to make better economic and financial decisions bringing informal sectors into a formal economy and making it more inclusive. Any business opportunity that is below one million must be given to a township entrepreneurship. Through this program, audiences can look forward to 30 minutes of deep and tough questioning on the issues of the week. To whom does women's unpaid work go? On Network, we have a gadgets, robots and more. I just hacked the drone and now I have full control of it. I can fly it, I can get all kinds of data back. A lot of people nowadays are plan their travels based on what they see on hashtag InstaTravel. Basically with the use of your smartphone, you are able to navigate your way in and across the length and breadth of our majestic country. There's technology and social media news on Network at 8.30pm and every Sunday at 5.30pm. Nene, an aspirant farmer, has been told to vacate the state-owned farm he was a beneficiary of following his liquidation. While officially it's being said that the farm is now run by the community, on the ground the community itself is divided. Others side with him and question the current state of affairs. <laughs> Ufor kawat kasa wat indonga, ega babunen, oguak ingurubi. Was tazi la ganje mai figa. Sa manga la gut, uhulumen gwenza ganja and tapinta teng in to gumlum, apinde footy and hulmen aite sedumlum. 
Dr. Thomas Volker is the veterinarian who has helped the farm with advice and to ensure the well-being of the pigs. He declined a request for an interview, saying he is just a businessman. Guzuza, umden, osondeleni, uklose pel, umparatu wonka na uzuzuto, mabas baningi, sleli asebenzi. But the cooperative insists that Volker helped them to revive the business using his own funds. Khamba was kaza taimani. Sis fana le sesuga ni nae. As pini sekteni simko kile limati. Ogu ya ogu kono tino be gus bamele le ngempe lo guti. Singai bon guti senza ni. Be wele us sale simko kile. Site simko kile limali ak simko kile limali ak. Sakina simko kile limali ak. Ya zia pele ngo 2018. Sometimes <laughs> they say they have hopes of growing the business into a sustainable entity. But the state has now told them that the farm will be partitioned for new owners. This despite the application to officially be declared beneficiaries. Wafia bona bumiya, mubati sebe zote abu liplas. Sati unga liplas abagua azuri tabu la mubali linga nile liplas ukala. Futi linga nje. Sifunuko tisi zenzele aeti apatola. Yuko tingu lube singa zisi le mchambe la chuo zisi sako. Owenza inlo kugufulele ramatu bemi sebe zote abe kona na ati sebe na hula. Kubeli sebe na wasi sebe na sisi sot. Stories of communities left in despair since the beginning of the state's agrarian reform project are widespread. At Pongola, also in the Zululand district, 31-year-old Vilinkosi Vuyo is fighting on behalf of his community to have control over the sugarcane business at the Langwan estate where he was born. <laughs> Kwalo ozonge na lai plazi, ngai pika kile uting tenge kibaybone, tenge gianza. Ngai kusukumutu kumi kwezi ndao, ezuta tumsha bulo ingilugu for thirty one years. Intenge sula ai uguti, gune she, eko na parati kwalo gula baba zopa fagala, gula baba ndo ngoba ngambo zame uguti, ngoba na wanga abashuru tu ngoba. Wati uma sebeza uzo batulagi. Ngati minakita angere nguwazo kusebeza mpansu wabu nyo mundo. Ngoba nami usoma pinziswa lapo usi mngana usa fufusai. Some members of the community say when the current owner arrived, he put a fence between himself and the community and kicked the school children off his side of the farm, which led to the state building them this now derelict makeshift structure. Well, on the other side of the farm, we were also asked to leave.
The farm owner declined an interview, saying he's just waiting for his money from the department. Other members of the committee say they have been saddened by the turn of events. The Langwane estate, that farm was still finalizing the acquisition of that property. What the department has agreed to do was to say when they did the investigation, they discovered that there were farm dwellers, their households on the, on the property. So the decision was then to say the commercial, the other part of the farm will be leased to a, a suitable candidate through that process of beneficiary selection and plus or minus 600 hectares will be allocated to the farm dwellers and then the farm dwellers will also be supported to, to, to produce on a particular farm. Hopefully one day the poverty trap tragedy will be forgotten in generations to come. The fossil hominid sites at Sterkfontein Caves, known as Cradle of Humankind, were declared a World Heritage Site on the 2nd of December 1999. The Cradle of Humankind covers an area of over 47,000 hectares of privately owned land northwest of Johannesburg. Most of the sites is on dolomite, a rock type which is slightly soluble in water, there are currently over 200 caves on the site and 13 fossil sites. We know that Australopithecus africanus were present in the cradle from about 2 to 4 million years ago. It is generally known that hominids are close relatives of human ancestors. In a UN report, scientists say climate change is getting worse. One third of our food sources for the population come out of the ocean. We spoke to people who have been directly affected. We have lost a lot of cattle. Gamesburg, uh, Vlakte, Tosca, Gebi and Jakalskop. Everywhere you will see there's animals dying. I've lost two of my cattle this January. Africa's demand for clean drinking water is rising. Drinking water is a top, top, top priority. The next day when the water comes back, it's dirty. I have implemented a level 5 water restriction, effective immediately. Environmentalistic solution to preserve the planet. This is a Cape Kirpa, which uh, is also one of the endemic species that uh, is only found within the Western Cape, so it occurs nowhere else in the world except in, in our water system. The SABC News mobile app